Welcome to the Giga Hub Network. I am Adam Crenn, and this is my one shot. But before I get into my one shot for the evening, I want to talk about our lovely sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert. That's where um, we're at. That's where we're at. Right. Uh, everything your little nerdy heart could desire, or even your big nerdy heart. My enlarged big nerdy heart. <laughs> your enlarged, enlarged big nerdy, nerdy heart. heart. <laughs> right, from sitting around playing World of Warcraft too yeah, much. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but anyway, yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Check us out at CosmicComics.Vegas or CosmicComicsLV.com. And you can check out what we have on our website. So on tonight's one shot, for the holidays, I'm going to talk about movies, shows, and specials that I try to make a point to watch every holiday season and the reasons why. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, first, of course, I'm going to go with kind of something everybody talks about, and that's uh, Die Hard. I'm not going to get into the if it is or is not a, a Christmas movie. It's I don't not. care about that. Don't get it me started. Is. Don't get me started. The movie's great. It's a great action a great film. Movie. It takes place at Christmas. But it's not a Christmas movie. Christmas informs pretty much everything that's going on. Um, he's he's going to get me talking about it. God dang it. Anyway, <laughs> I do watch it every year. Um, I only own two Die Hard movies. That's the first and the third one. They're the best ones. <laughs> They're the best ones, right. Um, but anyway, that's definitely on my list. Uh, the next one I always try to watch every Christmas. This is another movie that you could argue is and is not a Christmas movie, although I think this one's definitely in the stronger is a Christmas movie, is Trading Places back when, I don't know if anybody remembers when Eddie Murphy was actually funny. This is, <laughs> this is one of those movies. We're um, talking raw, baby, close to raw. Right, 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 right. We're talking pre-raw, actually. Um, so is it close to raw? And Dan Aykroyd and Jamie Lee Curtis in her first, one of her first big non-Scream Queen roles. Um, just a great flick. It's really has a. It's kind of infused with the holiday spirit. Basically, rich people make a bet where they swap a rich guy and a homeless guy to see how they both act and react. Prince Proving, the yeah, Prince, yeah, kind of, yeah, basically. So yeah, really good classic movie. Um, very funny. Uh, Eddie Murphy is funny in it. I know. If you don't believe it, check out Trading Places. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's coming to America, funny. Right. Yeah, the first one is good, and honestly. A little off topic, but when that movie came out, he had already not been funny for a few years. So when that movie came out, it was like, oh, hey, he's funny, he's again. funny again. And that was it this for like a, for decades after that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess The Clumps did okay, but The Nutty Professor, but <laughs> it's eh. It's eh. Um, anyway, moving on. My next, uh, my next movie on the list, this one probably can be controversial. It's the only, the only 90s era batman movies i like i like genuinely like not because it's that good but i think it's the strongest of them and and it's not for the reasons you might think and that's batman returns um the second tim burton movie um it's not a great film but it's just a weird film and it has a lot of weird things in it but mostly what i love about this movie danny devito is well i love danny michelle DeVito. pfeiffer i love michelle pfeiffer in it but no um before you guess, uh, uh, now his name's escaping me. Penguins with missiles. No, Max Shrek. Who played Max Shrek? Jeez. Uh, now his name's escaping me. Uh, it, uh, <sighs> oh my God! Um, Christopher. God, I don't know why his name. Walken. Christopher Walken. Yeah, it's actually not him. It's the guy who plays his son. That guy is really underrecognized in that movie. He uh, he does a really good subtle impersonation of Christopher Walken. <laughs> it's really good, but there are two dynamics, and Christopher Walken, of course, in that movie is just amazing. Um, it's not a great movie, but it's kind of a fun, weird, bizarre movie, and um, I like it. All right, moving on to my next pick is this is kind of a it's kind of a classic. I'm not I'm actually not a big fan of the Vacation movies, um, but I do like Christmas Vacation. Um, I think it's probably the. I mean, they all have oh, something to it's say like about when Chevy Chase was funny. Well, yeah, and it, I'm not a big fan of Chevy Chase either, but I do like him in this movie because I kind of you kind of feel for him in a lot of ways because even when he's not his own worst enemy, which he often is in those movies, especially this movie, it's still he's trying to be a good guy and do the right thing, and it's just. 
stuff just doesn't go well. <laughs> so yeah, Christmas vacation. Um, after that on my list, we get into more traditional holiday movies. But the, before I get into the or the two specials, which I really like and really try to watch every year, one of my favorite Christmas movies, which isn't so much a Christmas movie as much as it is a satire of holiday films in general. And that, of course, is Gremlins. Um, Gremlins makes it a point to sort of rip or riff on holiday films. <laughs> and that's what makes it so good. I uh, Just the whole story with, uh, what's her name, with um, um, Phoebe Cates, where she talks about why she hates Christmas, <laughs> is so dark and so grim and so hilarious. I love it. Um, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's just dark. It's good stuff. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. And of course, you got the gremlins in there, which are cool. Some of the effects didn't hold up quite as well, but a lot, most of them do hold up really way well. Way scarier than the second one. Yeah, the second one was a parody of itself, which yeah. was kind of a weird choice. <laughs> I liked it as a kid. Yeah. Um, and then of course the next one I got to watch. It's one of the old Rankin and Bass ones. Um, this one, it's not like Rudolph or anything. It's actually. The Year Without a Santa Claus. I, I love that one. I think it's great because Santa Claus, you know, he's feeling low on Christmas spirit himself and he kind of gets a cold and he just kind of oh, says, is that all? He just says, ah, I'm not going to do it. Nobody cares anyway. That's me and, at work. And really, basically, the whole special is about his wife and every and the elves trying to re help him regain his Christmas spirit and show him like, Hey, people still depend on you and rely on you. And I thought it was a nice message. And of course it has the wonderful and excellent, um, heat miser and cold miser song, which oh, is just amazing. Yeah. Heat miser. Yeah. Mr. Heat miser. Great stuff. <laughs> great stuff. Mickey Rooney was Santa. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, and then of course my number one pick for that is, you know, it's a classic, um, I'm not sure how many young people are really familiar with it, you know, 20-somethings, but, I mean, I love it. I think it's great. I think the voice acting especially, you know, is just amazing, which is Boris Karloff. And, of course, I'm talking about How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Ooh, the old cartoon. Love I love that cartoon. It's great. I try to watch it every year. It's got so much good in it. Um, it's just good stuff. Um, Boris Karloff is amazing as the Grinch. The Grinch animation is amazing. It's got a good message, you know. Um, it's just it's it's wholesome in its own way, but it's has that almost dark cynical tint yeah. to it, especially the Grinch. And I love it. I think it's a great. I think it's a great one. And uh, anyway, that's my list for movie shows and holiday specials that I try to watch every year. I don't always get to watch them for whatever reason, but I try to watch at least those every year. Um, so let me know any specials or movies or TV shows you really have to watch every year. Even if it's a terrible Hallmark special, that's cool. Uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, that's it. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, good night. <laughs>